Elsie, I don't have my phone on Do Not Disturb just in case you know who I was just talking about needs me and calls. So okay. if that if she, if she calls and it messes up my audio, I'll just skip out for a minute, and come back. Sounds good. It's a new Fourth of July tradition. We're not going through a whole lot, but we will go through a few things. One person. That's probably the other side. Happy July 4th, anybody that's here. Uh, no short of, short, <coughs> excuse me, no short of, of July 4th sales today. So, thank you, LC, for putting that info in there. This top looks orange, but I tried to wear red. Red, white, and what is blue? I have blue jeans on. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we get any visitors. And if we do, we will go through some things. Oh, I have a couple reminders according to who comes. One of them is for you, Elsa. The best branded flower brooch broke. So, you won't be invoiced for that, and you won't see it. I put it in the craft lot. Just letting you know, in case you can hear me. Uh, did you hear me, Elsie? That best yeah. branded brooch? Okay. The what brooch? <laughs> The best brand brooch, flower brooch, silver tone brooch. When I was cleaning it, too heavy handed, 
so I had to put it in a craft lot. So you won't see that on your invoice. You may not even remember ordering it it's earlier this week. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Something you ordered. You ordered yeah. a bunch. It's broke. Oh, so you don't. You don't. I could put anything I wanted on there, and you wouldn't even know if you ordered it or not. <laughs> oh, I would. I just right off the top of my head, I don't remember. I'd say you're fired. I'd say you're fired, but I'd like to see what you got next. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I'm messing with my bottom partials. Killing me. I got a place. Hey, Jane, sweetie. Yes. Um, so happy to see you. Happy four. Glad you're here. You shared me out. Oh, thank you. Wink. And we're not going to be on too awfully long. And like I said, July 4th, I don't even know who's coming. But I'm glad you're here. I'm going to go through some things. And I hope anybody that comes can find some rest and solace because I need it too. Um, you know, I've got a family member that's rapidly declining. And, uh, so I need a break from reality also. So I hope that I just noticed one of my eyes looks smaller than another one. Um, one time, long story, but I don't know if I had a stroke one time, honestly. Uh, and ever since, that one eye has been smaller than another. Can't you tell it's smaller? Look at it. It looks a lot smaller, unless it's just the way I'm holding my head. That's weird. I don't know what kind of lighting to do for a show. It looks a little messed up. Uh, let's look at Geisha girl and see how it looks. How she look, y'all? I don't know how my lighting is. Let me show y'all the cutest little stainless steel owl. Oh, that lighting's bad. Let's turn this off. Go back to this. Oh, what is up on my lighting? Y'all forgive me. We could turn this on, but I don't know how it will go. So, yeah, tonight's just a little, like, flash show. I didn't plan to come on until not too long ago. And I don't know what's gave me the notion to do it. I just thought, you know, I would like to have some of these clothes be in y'all's hands rather than mine. Um, I have so many. Let's see if that lighting helps. Something ain't right. <sighs> Something's not right, y'all. All right, let's try that. <sighs> the magic, the magic eyeball. Misty lass and all happy. Who is the magic eyeball? <laughs> it's got to be one of my UK friends. Gino! <laughs> Oh, that just was the sweetest thing ever to say to me. Y'all see what he said? He said, I like people when I'm smaller than the other. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all, my partial on the bottom is bothering me. I'm not, I'm not, I am modest, but I'm a pretty open person, so I'm not ashamed that I have a partial. I'm getting older. And it's wearing a place. I've got to go to the dentist. So I, I'm so sorry. It's just, just older people problems, y'all. Hey, Jen, I thought you were having a sale. I didn't expect to see you. Or maybe you are. And you're just coming in before yours. I'm not sure. Vanguard, that was you. See, I knew. I knew. I knew it. I could hear that accent a mile away. Well, Thousand, I don't know how many miles away we are. I heard it that far away. That's funny. Oh, you took away. Well, girl, come sit with us. We got a lot of people, and I won't share details. But, you know, we had people even jump in the chat last night just to say, you know, I've got this going on. And they said, I don't want to be a downer. But y'all, don't ever worry about being a downer. Um, 
you know, anytime you feel like you need to, you can share whatever you want to. And sometimes it just helps to get things off your chest, don't it? Okay? So, you'll be back on Thursday night. Okay. Please feel free to share your link in case nobody's got, somebody still needs to get Triple Jane Crafts. Oh, my buddy. And we'll be on together here July 16th with the Christmas and July sale. And also, um, Gino's finds. If y'all haven't picked them up, please do. Um, if you just need a calm voice to listen to, um, I think that would help you. And he's also very informative uh, in the reselling world. And that was so funny. LC, yeah, I meant to say LC, feel free to share your link. Um, LC's trying to grow her channel, y'all. So, um, share the wealth in here. We'll share the wealth. So I'm going to go ahead and go into a few things. It's just a quick flash sale tonight. Um, if you purchase anything tonight and you already have an invoice and package waiting on you, we'll add it to it. And yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing Gino's link. Hi, Brian. How you doing, sweetie? This device right here, I can see the chat quicker. It is a big lag. So, hey, Brian. So glad to see you, dear friend. Hope you're all right. So glad to see you, Kevin, and everybody that's here. Couple of things, if anybody doesn't mind. Not many people here. I think everybody knows. Please try to make sure that you actually do want what you're bidding on. Everything is sold as is. Um, I do my best to let you know if there is a flaw or an issue or a stain on a shirt, whatever. Um, but if you feel that I have some somehow grossly misrepresented the item I'm selling, please reach out to me on email and I will bend over backwards to make it right. So. Uh, thinking of frequently asked questions. If um, you need to register to bid, Misty's Treasure Chest at gmail.com. Need your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App address. Also, please make sure you're on live chat and not talk chat. And if you have any questions, there's all kinds of helpers in the chat that are so good and kind to everybody that comes in. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll just look at some little treasures. How's that? And try to let our minds relax. Take a little break. Uh, oh, got to quit messing with my mouth, y'all. All right, so we can take a vote. Would y'all like to see clothing or jewelry? I have jewelry I've not shown before. That's fine, Vanguard. Just a general way will work. <laughs> or I have, I have one Harley item tonight. I have some more of those tin aluminum signs. Different ones. I have a kid's lot, which I'm waiting on Natty. I mean, Netty for that. And I always have the mystery boxes and the grab bags. I have $5 ones, $10 ones, $25 ones, and $40 ones. Okay? So that's what we're looking at. Uh... 
I do ship international. But we need to keep the boxes under three pounds or else it gets crazy expensive. So, uh, also, sorry, y'all. I do whole packages, pay as you go. And if you want to hold a package to you get a little bit bigger box and then I invoice for shipping, we can do that. And yes, we are thinking about you, Jane. You share whatever you want to. But any hearts to Jane would be helpful. Any love you can send her way. That's Holy Spirit Firefall. And she can share if she wants to why. But so do I have any votes? Or are y'all just hanging out with me and say do whatever you want to do? Happy July 4th to y'all. And um again. I hope rest for your mind and a little ease and comfort as you hang out with me a little bit here. Uh, Jane, do you, does somebody have a way you want me to go here? Looking to y'all. That's pretty much why I'm here tonight. For y'all. I'm sorry. You're open to see it all. Okay. Well, uh, let's see here. I have, if anybody's interested, I'll we'll start we'll start off with the bang. Um I have uh two fossil items. This is a genuine leather fossil cigarette case. Um I guess you can use it for uh bone, anything you want to. Still has its tags on it. And I'll start that at 20 That You guys know Fossil's pricey. And it is nice. It's going to last you a long time. This is a black leather. It is Fossil. And I believe that's a cigarette case. Or you could use it for phone or just whatever you want to do with it. So very nice item. Starting that at 20 If any interest, just throw a big two zero in the chat. You're welcome, sweetie. I hope you feel it. I hope there's some kind of force behind it that we don't just say it, but we feel it. You know? Any interest in this? I also have a fossil wallet. Actually, I think it is more... Yes, yeah, a wallet. Okay? It looks brand new. Uh, it's just a black leather fossil. We can do it at 20 also, if any interest. This is what it looks like. That plastic piece is just bent over. It just needs to be flattened out. But it looks like a new without tag on it, if any interest. Y'all know what? I'm going to put a little padding there. to relieve my pain in here in just one second any interest i'll let y'all think about that so leather fossil wallet and the case here this one they brand new and those are at 20 which is a heck of a deal on fossil so i'll be right there
if y'all wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up if it's not too much trouble. Or even if you have the capacity to share me out and think I deserve it, I would appreciate it. Do you have any? Um, I did have this great stuff. I lost it the other day. I took it with me. And I traveled and I lost it. Uh, thank you, though. I'll be all right. All right, so nobody's interested in the fossil today. That's no problem. Put that back up here. Uh, I have a pair of Harley gloves that are new, and I think they're a size extra large. And on these, I'll do it 25. And that's what they look like. They're a size extra large, and they are... I think they still got their tag on it. No, they got their tag, but they're new. Extra large at $25. That is um, like a cloth, and then you've got the gripper, the gripper side. That'd make a nice gift. And, uh, yeah, I have to start them at 25 I paid up for them. Just in case any interest on these. And they are extra large. Okay. I have two new jewelry boxes. Um, they're Prestige. The ultimate in jewelry storage. I just need a little white here. But they're uh, real nice. Black with pink interior. This is like a great gift too. They are new. And let me think. I will start that out at $13 if any interest. And this is not glass. It's a hard plastic. So there's its little card there I have two of them black very hard plastic there pink inside so that's what they look like they're new if any interest and I'll just try to make sure I don't look over anybody but LC is watching too uh, any interest in the jewelry boxes Have two of those. All right. I have a B I S O U correct and conceal collection palette here. Uh, let's say it's a color corrector, a concealer, setting powder. And pretty large, distributed by Global Beauty Care New York. And I'm trying to think, I can do eight on that if any interest. It's new and sealed. Uh, I have some more tan signs, and I'm going to start these ones at 12. They're sealed in the package. I have a one that says Thoroughbred, and these are just the aluminum signs you hang up. They do have the holes already in them here for you to hang. And that one says thoroughbred. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can read the thoroughbred right across there. Beautiful horse with blue sky in the background. At 12, um, we've got a, it says, this has got an American flag on that. Driven by freedom is what this one says. And they're pretty large. Good night, Brian. Thank you for stopping in. Love you, honey. Take care. Good luck at the gym tomorrow. Uh, if any interest in those, y'all, I'm just going right straight at it. I ain't even trying to warm nobody up. <laughs> 
sometimes you start off easy and let everybody get in the swing of it, but I'm just going around. I'm jumping feet first. Feet first. All right, this one. Okay, don't let this offend anybody. It's just a sign, and I don't know if anybody likes it. Uh, I don't even really understand what this one's saying, but it says, Helen Way is our credit manager. If you want credit, go to Helen Way. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> <coughs> Did I go out or did Jane? I, um, oh, you're staying for a little bit. We were going to, and my son's buddies called up and wanted to meet up and do a big wiffle ball game, and he misses baseball so much. So I went and did that. Then my husband was like, oh, I'd really love taking that out. So I was like, go ahead. I finished my invoice, and we ended up not going to the antique car show right out the road or listening to music or hot dog, but that was no problem with me. So we didn't do anything. We hung around the house. And the last one says, uh, some of us grew up playing with tractors. The lucky ones still do. And these are Tim signs. They have the holes in them. They're for decor. You put them in your, on your barn, on your porch, in your man cave, in your kitchen, whatever you want to do. Some of us grew up playing with tractors. The lucky ones still do. And then it has that writing down at the bottom. I think. Are you saying you want that? Or are you just putting that in there? I, say? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It's hardly a yeah. Did you just put that in there or what? Did I do what? Were you just listening to the sound or did you want a sound? No, I was putting it in there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Here we have this is nice. Let's move this just a lot. This is a very nice, it's a genuine lovely. Don't make her jump. Uh, little, if you cross, I don't know if it's cross body or what. And it's a nice brand. R O L F S. And I'll ask 25 for that. Paid up a little bit for it, but it's very nice. It's beautiful, perfect shape. Mint condition inside, black, and you got over here for cards. You got a zip in the middle. You got this. And nice brand there. And then you got a pocket over on the outside there. So, any interest in the little Rolfs, if that's how you say it, genuine leather purse here at 25. Which that's still, that is a great deal, okay? I shouldn't feel like that's not. That's a great deal. All righty. So I saw no interest in all that that we just went through. Um, I guess we can show a few pieces of jewelry. And then we'll finish with clothing. Because we're not going to be on too awfully long tonight. Okay. I just ran, got us a late lunch, didn't feel like cooking. Yeah. Bless your heart. All right, let's see what we got here. This is a 14 karat gold field, uh, gold field jade brooch. It's jade flower brooch. Um, starting it at 20. It is gold field. It's marked uh, DCE. So. Nice little seller here. And the jade is here in the flowers. It is gold filled and marked with Maker's Mark DCE. Hi, Miss Robbie. Vintage pillowcases and tablecloths would be cool too. All right, darling. So, any interest, it is open in the back. This is a very nice, fine little brooch here. Starting that at 20. 
I hope my lighting's okay. I'm not sure. Uh, this is what. See the size of it. Any interest on that one? It's a little bit more pricier one, guys. But um, my pricier ones I usually put online, but many times I run them through towards you guys, doing the best deal I can on them. I also have, I have three of these here. I took one myself. These are $3 each. They're disinfect wipes. 80 count. So it says deodorizes and cleans. Multi-purpose wipes. And they're new. I have three of these. Like I said, I took one. They're at three each if any interest. Honey, I don't get your PayPal working. <laughs> I just need you to send me your address of your PayPal. And that is whatever email you used when you signed up with PayPal, that's the email I need. You know what I mean? So it'll work as long as you send me the email when you signed up with your PayPal, whatever email you used. It might be your own email. <laughs> Honey. That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, but you know what I mean, Miss Robbie? And if you just send me that address, then I'll send your invoice to it, and it'll show up in your PayPal. But I might... Yeah, just look. And it might just be your email, but you're not interrupting, honey. Stay. But, Miss Robbie, if I need to give you my phone number, um, if you don't find the address tonight, I'll try to give you my phone number tomorrow, and I'll call and walk you through it if you need me to, if you want me to, Okay. You did good to get it done, and now you're like, what else have I got to do? It's too hard, but you'll get used to it, and it won't be too hard, okay? Okay, I do have two of the stainless steel bracelets left. I'm going to be getting some more of these. The little lady that home makes these homemade is just so sweet, and she's going to make me some cats and dogs and different things. But these are stainless steel, and they're at $10 each. And um, stainless steel is great because it's not going to turn or oxidize. It's great. It feels wonderful on the skin. It's very soft. I fell in love with stainless steel recently. I didn't realize how comfortable it was. And these bracelets have a little, they're charm. So you see, you see the give, you see the stretch. So you're looking at that, that's going to, that will go on my hand. It's going to go on about anybody's hand. So now let me, there we go. So you've got a little, I've got left. This is like a little um, light burgundy owl and a white one. Now let me put it up here and hold it still. I was just telling you about it. So these are good little deals at 10. And beautiful. So your little pendant, your charm is stainless steel and also the bracelet. And more charms can be added to this, of course. So that's what they look like. Very cute. Back of them. Any interest in these at 10? Okay, I don't mean to go too fast, but just kind of moving right along. Y'all let me know. Um, these are these are beautiful. These are very old. I'm not sure of the year. They're a Sarah Coventry, and I'm not sure what year or years she signed her jewelry, S-A-C. Uh, many of the pieces I get are Sarah Coventry marked or Sarah C-O-V. But very rarely do I find the SAC mark. So they're gold tone climbers. They're gorgeous. And I'll start them at 10. Show you what they look like. I love climbers. They're, uh, 
leave her back. So you see. And climbers because they go right up your ear. Well, I've got it. I can't do it backwards, y'all. Like this. And that's what they look like. They're gorgeous. They sit on your ear like this. So ask content on those. Nice gold tone and they are marked. Any interest? Um, the other bracelets. You're not interrupting, Zoidy. Um. Oh, I'm so sorry. I look like I'm pulling my teeth down. Um. Other bracelets. I had the little owl on it. It was a while back. I don't remember which one it was. Any interest on the Sarah Coventry? Okay. I don't remember, Jay, honey. This one is uh, got a faux pearl on it and probably little crystals. And let's see here, trying to remember what, if anything, it was marked. So I believe these are just like a little gold electroplated. And the size of this one is very small. It is, wow, very small. Four and three-fourths. And I can do that at $10 if any interest. That's what it looks like. Four and three fours won't even fit my pinky. I gotta find my other earring I took out. There it is. No, they didn't have an hour though. Bracelet that looked like. They look like these as far as the bracelet part. Oh, they had round charms on them with sayings on them. Hmm. Bunny, I'm going to have to think on it, darling. Okay? Y'all give me one second. I think I got it fixed where I can tolerate it now. Grab me a drink. I apologize. I cannot think of which ones they are, sweetie. Hmm. I don't have them right off hand. If I do have them, um, I have got, they're kind of in my trunk over here, but they were bracelet that looked like those. They had round charms, charms was saying, <laughs> is it the ones I showed the, just the other night? Love you, Brian. Good night. Is it the ones I showed just the other night, sweetie? Not sure. I can't think of them, honey. I'm sorry. My brain is mush. If it comes to me, I will let you know. Okay? All right. Here is a... This is 18 karat gold electroplated. It has a little wear on... Well, it has a lot of wear on the back, on the bottom. Okay? You can see that gold plating has worn off. 
Um, so it's a beautiful ring, though. If you like it, you got a blue stone in the middle and little clear stones all around it. And I'll do this one at 10 also. I believe it's worth $10. Um, give y'all a closer look to it. And it is a size 7. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss Robbie. You got it figured out, darling. So let's look at it. It's real pretty. It's got all its stones. Blue. Clear. And the wear, you can see here on the back what I mean. You see how it is not gold-plated any longer, but it was, and it still is on the very top, 18 karat gold-plated. So if that doesn't bother you, if you still like it, at a good little deal of 10, it's a beautiful little ring, and it is a size 7. Hi, Grace. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, so happy to see you. So, pretty little rain size 7, okay? Got another one here. It's a pretty little rain. Let's see what, if any issues, no issues, no wear. Not bad. Doing good little deals on these rings, y'all. This is a larger size. We're going to do it at $10 also. It is an eight and a half. And I'll show you up closer in case you would like to see. So, none of it's um, electroplating, trying to get that up there for y'all, is worn off. It's good. So, that, that's what that one looks like. Um, I think I said, what, eight and three-fourths? And that is ten, <laughs> if any interest. Waiting on fireworks. Isn't that pretty, y'all? wonder if that'll fit here. Oh, it does. So that's what it looks like on the hand. Oh, uh, are you at Wilmington waiting on fireworks? Any interest in that ring? Y'all want me to move on from rings if y'all are interested? Uh, this is another nice one. I don't see anywhere on it. We'll do it at 10. And it is a size right at an eight and a quarter. Okay. <laughs> you're sweet here's what this one looks like i i know i don't think or jail i need actually you know what i got some wax i have got some wax will y'all give me a second let me put it on there so i can quit messing with my mouth at 10 and that's what you got on this one. Nice little ring. Uh, at 10. Didn't go to the battleship. Too crowded. Yes, Miss Robbie, I'm going to put the wax on. And it is a size eight and a quarter if anybody likes it, okay? And that's what that looks like on the hand. Y'all want to move on from rings? I don't see any interest in them. Uh, I think I've got Star Wars there. I'm putting some wax, y'all. I was like, wow, dear, I made it. I apologize. I didn't realize how much it would hurt before we got started. So. Okay. I believe that helps. Okay. I believe that helps. 
I think I'm set now. Okay. All right, so we won't look at any more rings if you are interested in rings. This is an old Charlie Brown brooch. Well, it's actually Linus. Is it Linus? Yeah. Um, he has some wear on his overalls, his green overalls. And it looks like some little kid took a marker and painted his face. I cleaned it. It might could be wiped more. I don't know. I'll show y'all what I mean. So I'll do them at five dollars. Um, he is marked right here. There's where somebody did something to his face, but it's Linus, and you can see some wear on his overalls here. But at five dollars, it's a nice little collector's piece. But I don't know if anybody wants them in that condition. If not, I'll probably put them in craft. That wax helped. So any interest in Linus from Charlie Brown at five dollars. All right, let's see here. I have some gold tone hoops here by Premier Design. Nice. Brand new. Are they gold tone? Yeah, I start to say gold tone or rose. So, Premier Design, pretty little gold tone hoops. Do these at $10 if any interest. Brand new, never been worn. Post, nice backings on those. So those are at 10 if you need a gold tone hoop. Those are nice. Have a little bee brooch. And unmarked. I'm always paying attention to bee brooches thanks to, my, to our friend LC. This one is a very thin metal thin made not thick not heavy i'll do five dollars on it if any interest that's what it looks like it does look old gold tone here's the back of it jen likes it at five thank you sweetheart it took a while, but we're going to get the white geisha girl up. I'm sure she's happy. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a small one. It shows up good on that red, don't it? You see? Miss Robbie's in at six. Oh, she's learning how to do it, y'all. <laughs> Jen. And now, we, now we've created a monster, y'all. Look at Miss Robbie coming in at six. I can't help it, Jen. I'm proud of her. I know you're probably laughing, too. Um, so, y'all, see what y'all want to do on it. Like I said, this is a lighter one. And it is a thinner, light metal. Jen is out to Miss Robbie. You are laughing, aren't you, Jen? <laughs> I just thought that was funny because Miss Robbie... I, Having a hard time even sending me her PayPal address, but she just come in at six when you had put in five. I thought that was funny. She's learning. All right, Miss Robbie. Thank you to Jen. This is going home to you, darling. <laughs> I have more bee brooches, Jen. I have a really nice one. If anybody wants to pay the, yeah, she's got, she did hearts. So I thought she was fine. I thought she was. I didn't think I upset anybody. But I do have a really nice one. I've got it listed on Macari. If you want me to pull it out, it's a little bit more pricey, but it's one of those brands that is pretty pricey. If anybody wants to see it, I will pull it out. Um, so I got you at six, Miss Robbie. She's learning, y'all. And 
And just one more time, we showed those last night, and Jen taught me that these are called tremblers. And they're like just vintage, they're all clips. And all of these are tremblers. They're all beautiful butterflies. And I asked 12, that's $3 each. If you don't want all of them, then let me know which one you want, and we'll do them at $3 each. I can't make them hold still. They have a mind of their own. They're on that spring. So that's what you got on them. If any interest. And all four at 12. Or individually I can do it three. I want those bees to fertilize your vegetable garden. That's funny. Any interest on the little trembler butterflies? That one's got blue eyes, purple, pink. That one's a pretty blue. This is different colors, actually. You might not can see it good. But anyways, they're real cute. If I could get it to hold still, y'all, that's what it's supposed to do there, right? See, that one's all different colors. Then you got this pretty blue one here. This pretty purplish pink one here. And you got this one, which is also, it's kind of like the first one. Kind of multicolored, if I can get it on there. See there? So that's what we got if you need interest on those. And let's see here, what else did we? Oh, okay, I've got a beauty, but it's he's a beautiful price. Oh, no problem, sweetheart. And this is a firm on this one, but I'm going to show it. I don't know if anybody here has an interest. This is a very nice vintage, either dolphin or porpoise. I'm asking 20. It is heavy. It is huge. And is it marked? Can't remember. Don't think. But this is one of those one of a kind ones, y'all. That's it's heavy. It's gorgeous see the way that it's like the hammered kind of look and that is a one of a kind there beautiful on the detail and it's a very nice well made one um unreal look at that well it's kind of backwards but that's what you got on them isn't that beautiful? I don't know if it's a dolphin or a purpo uh, purpose. Porpoise. But it has, um, I'm going to say those are, I'm not sure if they're rhinestone or crystal. They look more like crystal to me. Green. So any interest in them, I thought I would show y'all. He is a more pricier one, but it's just according if you like it or not, right? What is that shining right there? Was that his eye? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think those are crystals in his eyes. All right. So this is a little Jerry's frog brooch. And I'm asking 15 for him. Sorry about that loud car. He's Mark Jerry's down here on his foot. And he's very pretty. Show him up close just so y'all can see him. How pretty his coloring is. Let's That's what it looks like. Very pretty gold tone. Nice quality Jerry's brooch here. Froggy. And quite large. It's so hard when I go to put a brooch up next to me because everything's so backward. Any interest in him?
already. Uh, I have, did I show y'all the little teapot that's Austrian crystal plated, or it's 24 karat gold plated, and it has Austrian crystals in it? It is gorgeous. Very unique. I know, I got this because I know a few y'all collect teapots, two or three of you. No, I can't remember. But I love the Austrian crystal. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is its little hang tag. That says 24 karat gold plated. It's crystal millennium productions. And it is a beautiful little teapot. And I'm asking 17 for it. Not pretty. Those Austrian crystals. So, you know, the way they are cut and the prisms and stuff in them, you got pink, blue, green. You see all colors. Uh, I'll just, we'll just do a little up close look for the fun of it. I like looking at it. So, y'all can see it how I do. I want to show you these crystals, how pretty. You see all the colors. See if I can get the light, hit it right. So that's what you got there. Pretty little teapot. And it does come in its little box. Okay. Um. Would y'all like to see some little statement necklaces that I can do a little bit better deals? Y'all let me know if you would. Or we can look at some clothing. Um, or we can look at some more jewelry. I do have a beautiful West Germany ring. It's a little on the pricier side, too. You just ain't that fancy. I'm not either. I'm not either, darling. I'll show y'all this. I'm going to put, I plan on posting this online. Um, I do have, y'all, now, I do have a beautiful, if anybody's interested, let me know. It is a Taxco 925, has a Maker's Mark TP2M, and it's a Noah's Ark brooch pendant. I had never seen one. So, that's very nice. Here is, um, oh, y'all, this is another with Austrian crystals. This is pricey. It is a Kramer. And um, it's beautiful brooch. I'll show it to you. Like I said, it's pricier. I was planning to put it online, but I'll show that this to y'all. All those different color crystals. Oh wowie! I 
Hi, Joseph. How you doing, honey? Thank you for coming in. Isn't that a gorgeous one, y'all? I just wanted to show that to y'all. And these butterflies are, they're kind of pricey by Kramer. Um, and it's large. And you can, look at that. All right, let's see here. It is beautiful, ain't it, Jane? Good, Joseph, honey. Here's that Western Germany ring, y'all. It is a beaut. And it is a size six and a half. It's the braided brass. It's beautiful. Vintage Western Germany mark. absolutely gorgeous um this one i'm posting online too just want to show you guys if any interest these are just a little bit more pricier um that one is the one online I, i'm almost ashamed to tell you miss robbie at 55 dollars um which is less expensive than what they do sell for yeah, real pricey. Yeah, it is. It is beautiful, isn't it? I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what. Um, I'll drop this piece down to thirty-five dollars. I know that's still very pricey. That is just for tonight, just right now, in case. Not because I need thirty-five dollars, just for y'all. It still might be too steep for you, but I'll drop it down to that. Um, just for tonight, and you know. I'll just let y'all know that. Okay? It won't be. Email me later on this one. It's just for tonight. Just who's here. I'm just dropping that down to 35. Because um, that is really nice one. But that's why I show things in here. Is I like for y'all to be able to find little things that maybe otherwise you wouldn't have been able to. At the prices they go for, you know. So that's the best I could do for that. If anybody wants it for that much you know i understand if not i couldn't okay this is so pretty y'all this is a little i put this this is a little wire this is so pretty i don't know what it is here are the earrings, and I, and it's kind of together because look how pretty those are. They're at gold tone dangle. And I'll do $10 on this. I've got them together. I've got these earrings. And I've got it with this necklace. I love this. It's, um, oh, I just kind of got it twisted. Let's untwist it. It's not lightweight, but it wouldn't be heavy. It's just what I'm trying to say is it's a nice quality piece. And I'm not exactly sure. Even these are cut very faceted. That's why it's catching the light like that. And there's some faux pearls in it. See how it's catching the light? So that we can do at 10 if any interest or if anybody likes that. I think it is so different. 
I absolutely love it. Well, do y'all like it? I think it's beautiful. So, yeah. Oh, it's, it, no, it's acrylic. These are acrylic. I started to think maybe because they're glass. Uh, let's see. The beads? Um, no, it, no, it's not. That's fine. I should have, I should have even said. What it is, is, it is, you can tell somebody handmade this. And the necklace is silver tone wire. Pretty sure silver tone. Yeah. This necklace is wired. Let's see if I can show y'all. It's silver tone. You see that? That is what's connecting the little, very tiny, tedious handmade on this. That is silver tone. Your beads are clear and they're faceted. They're acrylic. And then you've got the little five pearls here. Does that help to say, Jay? Um, let me get this one up there. A silver tone. Now, the earrings, though, they are a gold tone wire wrapped, but they look like the same person made them to me. See that wrapping and it's gold tone? So, but you can't, it's so tiny, at least I can't. My eyes aren't good. But to me, that's why I thought they looked so great together. What do y'all think? But these are gold tone. This is the silver tone wiring in here. But I'm doing both of these together at 10. Or if you don't, if you want one, but you don't want the other, feel free to put an offer in there for one or the other. Ever what y'all want to do. Okay. And you ask any question you want to, sweetie. Okay, that's what I'm here for. Show you all these little treasures. And if you got any questions, I'll answer them the best I can. I just absolutely love this. I don't know why. And I love these earrings. Is the necklace heavy? No. It's good and cold, actually. It's nice and cold. Not really heavy. That's what it looks like. If you can say. I can't say. But no. Uh -uh. It's lightweight. And it's longer. So that's what that looks like. My lighting keeps going down on my phone. And I don't know why it's doing that. So, do you want it, sweetheart? I mean, do you like it? Is there any other way I could show it to you where you could see it better? Or look at it on the black necklace form might make it really show up good. See how it catches the light? Because of the way it's cut. Nice acrylic bead. I thought they were glass there for a minute, but they're very nice and cold. So, if you have hot flashes, y'all like me, I think this will be nice. I've got it doubled. It is pretty, ain't it? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's say I, I was asking 10 for the necklace and the earring. So, um, how about six dollars? Does that sound good? Does that sound like a good little deal for it? You let me know, Dorla. And that would leave the earrings. Actually, I would do the earrings at three. So, if anybody liked the earrings. They're very different. I don't know what. Almost looks like a vase of some sort. I don't know. But now these earrings are different than these beads. These are plastic. Okay, the earrings, beads are plastic. All right. Good. I'm glad you found something you like, sweetie. That's going to be beautiful on you. Um, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something. Miss Robbie, let me know if you're still here. Okay. 
Will you let me know if you're still here, sweetie? If you got hands free. All right, let me put this in a little bag for Jane. Let's see if Miss Jane's here. Looks like candy. I oh, candy, it does. That's exactly. Who said that? Jane, yep. Yeah. They do look like candy. You're right. If you look at them from this way, I get it. <coughs> nice. Good job, Jane. That's right. Let's see if I can find my pen. Miss Robbie, are you still there, darling? I want to tell you something when you come back. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. I know I look awful doing that, but I can't help it. I'm sorry. Let's write this down. Oh, you, oh, maybe you're hoping it tonight. That'll give you something to do. And you got that mystery box, girl. You need to open it tonight. That will might maybe cheer Haley up to open. There might I think I'm think I'll put something there y'all both would like. So and let me know if you like it. Be honest. Um you were buffering. Okay, can you hear me now? All right. Something was bothering my conscience. That Kramer butterfly, I'm not Honestly, not because I, I need somebody to buy or I want to make an extra whatever money. Just letting you know my honest intentions here. I just felt bad that I have this piece of jewelry that people like. And I'm going to hold on to it at a pricier price. Put it online. I don't know. Now, it always don't happen that way. Sometimes I don't. It don't bother my conscience to do that. But this time it did. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's it's menopause. I'm about to ask Cubby to give me a five minute break. Are you? Okay, so I want to put this up, y'all, and show y'all. This is a Kramer. It's a vintage piece. Um, these are very pricey and sell well online. He made all kinds of different beautiful ones. It's Austrian crystal. And just for tonight, I'm going to put that up as a make an offer on it. And you can take it home. If two people have an interest, then y'all would have to. You can do it bid style. But I started at $10. And y'all can, if somebody wants it, you can go from there. And I'll let you think on it. Feel no obligation. But I want to make it available tonight for y'all. Just because it bothered my conscience. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm crazy. Okay, hubby's coming to talk to y'all a minute. And they'll see. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Okay, well, that'd be nifty. I'll get a chance to interact with some of these fun, fine peoples. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm a pirate, so uh, that's me for right now. I only have half vision, but I'm blessed to have what I have, and I'm blessed to have my wife. Good evening, all. Happy 4th of July to everyone. And hi, Robbie Brown. That's Miss Robbie. Miss Robbie. Robbie. Okay, good deal, good deal. So... And hello, Holy Spirit Firefall. And how is everybody's fourth so far? Is everybody going to see some fireworks this evening? I'm sorry to hear about your puppy, Miss Jane. Misty just told me so. Uh, let's see here. A pirate is fitting to be on Misty's treasure chest. Oh, that's Lord. that's true. That's true. Yes. So let's see here. And Misty was saying that LC could unmute and chat with me. Or let's see here. All right. 
uh, one dog that scare fire. I can understand that. Uh, our dogs bark at pretty much everything. And so whenever the firework, fireworks start going off here this evening, Abby, I call them the goobies. She's just going to start barking and barking. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's not talk about pups because I'm sorry for your loss. I know that they are part of the family. I can I can understand that, Jane, I can, because they are part of the family. So, well, happy Fourth to everybody. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to entertain you, but we certainly can. Uh, oh, watching fireworks from your deck. That's pretty cool. That way you can just sit out and have a nice glass of sweet tea or a good Arnold Palmer and just watch the beautiful fireworks. Everybody be careful this evening. And hi, Wolf Redeemed. It's nice to see you. Uh, it's, uh, let's see here. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Jane. That's so kind. So let's see here. Has everybody been getting good deals this evening? I know that Misty's worked really hard to have a uh, have a really good pop-up uh, sale this evening and showing all kinds of everything. So let's see here. How many do we have in the room? I'm not even sure. Let's see here. We have Miss Robbie, Miss Jane. We have Wolf. We have Triple J. Uh, who else is here? Who else am I missing? I don't. I don't want to miss anybody and seem like I'm being rude. Crickets, crickets, crickets. So, anybody? Oh, uh, and I, I know that, uh, yeah, there you go. And I know that uh, Miss LC, she's here as well. So, thank you so much, Wolf. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. 12 watching, but not all are Oh, we have lurkers. Oh, I see. I see. Thank you, Triple J. That was very nice because uh, reading it on, on the phone here, not sure who and what are around. So, and $20 butterfly brooch for Robbie. Okay. I'll see. I can't thank you enough for. Okay. Uh, okay, Miss Jane. We'll see you in a second. I cannot thank you enough for helping out Misty. It's just so kind of you to do so. So, let's see here. Who all has tomorrow off since uh, the banks and the government is observing the fourth tomorrow? Used to, we, uh, Misty and I and the kids, we would watch, uh, let's see here, uh, we would watch the fireworks from D.C. On the, on the television, but we haven't had television, wow, three, four years now, ever since I lost my vision and then the Lord you know, saw fit to give me part of it back. We just stream whatever we want to watch, do a lot of YouTubing, working a lot. So let's see here. Yeah, Elsie does. Uh, Elsie does do a great job. And Misty is just a wonderful, well, I mean, I'm biased, of course, but she is just a wonderful shower. She's kind to everybody, and I just love it whenever she laughs. So, oh, thank you, Elsie. That is so nifty. I know that uh, I know that you're starting to get your channel up, and Misty. Uh, I know that you and Misty have been talking about things. Let's see here. I'm not sure what to talk about. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Triple J. I I can understand that. I can certainly understand that. What uh, What does your husband do? Friends channel, subscribe at your convenience. Cable technician, I hear you. I hear you. That's uh, that's a hard job. Uh, we've had a few installers come out from time to time, and we have very small crawl spaces whenever they have to go get into one box and then go downstairs and get to another box and then come back up. And it, it can be a hard job. Uh, and not anybody in here, but people can just be so rude. Why ain't you here yet? Why you're supposed, uh, you're supposed to be here at 12 o'clock. Well, no, your, your time frame said anywhere between 12 and four. So yes, I always support each other because Anytime that you're part of a community, no matter how large or small, you've got friends that 
that can just be there for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I love, oh, wrong one. I love this. This is weird doing it backwards. Carolina Blue Wreath. That's so weird trying to, uh, let's see here. Nope. Uh, this way. Aha. There. Well, con- I- almost. There, there we go. I love that Carolina Blue Wreath. Let's see here. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad that he's safe. Hopefully he, hopefully it was reported to the company and to the authorities because that's just that. Anytime that you go in uh, someone's home, like whenever people were doing door to door sales and stuff like that, you're, you're putting yourself out there and that's kind of scary enough in itself, but to be in a place that you don't know and you never know whose house you're going to walk into, they could be crazy. So, oh, cool deal. Cool deal. Yeah. Uh, Misty finds, she finds all kinds of nifty stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm part of a, uh, I'm part of a podcast. Of course, I'm a nerd. It's a Star Wars podcast. And uh, she's found stuff that whenever we start doing giveaways to uh, listeners and fans and stuff like that, it's, she finds all kinds of just nifty things, very nifty things. And, and that's, and that's uh, nifty that it hangs there on your bed, uh, in your bedroom. Floor. So, um, I'll see Misty will answer that message a little bit later, but the answer from right now is yes. So let's see here. There's a text from the same. Oh my gosh. Oh, that poor person's family. Which part of, uh, which part of North Carolina? Cause Misty has some family down east, uh, outside of Wilmington. Okay, I'll say good deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, people are just damn crazy, pardon the French, but they really are. I mean, no matter how long you know somebody, long time, short time, it's just people. If you can count on one thing from people, it's unpredictability. Let's see here. About 45 minutes southeast of Raleigh. Okay, I know the... I know the general area fair, fairly well. So, well, I am so glad that everybody's in here with Misty this evening. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dogs. Um, so, Jay is the one who let me come on her channel. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Thank you for letting Misty come on your channel. That is too cool. She did. Uh, she gave me a chance. I, I, I was sports man. She just broke the paper. Uh, uh, again, it's always good to have that community. So. I, I think uh, I think my wife is tired of listening to my voice. No. <laughs> so let's see here. So are you ready to come back? Yeah, and Miss Francis made that. Oh, did I didn't she? I know you loved it. Oh, that's a that's a. Just I a, can't hang in your room. Nobody's oh, bought it. Oh. She I, needs to make you a Star Wars one. Uh, absolutely. I know exactly where Kenley is. I know exactly where it yeah, is. Yeah, we're going to maybe meet up and have lunch and go thrifting one day when her husband has to go put flowers on the mom's grave. Oh, okay. Well, uh, if you love Star Wars, Wolf, and you like to listen to podcasts, yeah. we, we've got our second podcast. It just dro- our, our second show just dropped Thursday. It's called Lightsaber Radio. He'll, you, you can go put the link in at your computer. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that here shortly. But uh, let's see here. Husband joins me. Okay, well, cool deal. I think Misty's going to step to the restroom real quick, and what? then she'll she'll uh, and then she'll come right back. But uh, I'll come in the room here in a little bit, Wolf, and put the link into it. We're on all the major platforms: Spotify, Apple, Google. Uh, if, if you like to listen to podcasts, you know, she's buried in Oakboro. Okay, that's that's right outside Greensboro, if, I, if I'm thinking correctly. So. Yeah, I know that uh, Misty's talked about you before, and uh, she would. She definitely is talking about meeting up with you. So, hey Jen, yeah, we're going to do a Christmas sale. She's, yeah, hey, so I'm doing a Chris. She's coming on my channel. You need a Mandalorian. I hear you. Yeah, I'll go drop you. that link for you, Wolfie. All right, and and Miss Robbie uh, says she needs a Mandalorian. So that means she's a Star Wars fan too. Oh wow! All right, well, I'm going to turn it back over to the expert. Everybody, have great. a lovely evening. I'm I'll, not uh, an I'll I'll post that in the chat oh, here in just a minute. I've been named Blue. Red, white, and blue. 
Oh, here you go. There you go. Well, for me, red, well, turning white, white, and blue. Yeah, he is very pale. Oh, so, red-headed. Lived in Albemarle. Oh, okay. Cool deal. I'll put that in uh, the chat here in just a second, and here's Misty. Or wait a second. Uh, like, uh, let's see here. What was his name? Here's Johnny. Uh, well, yeah, but Ed McMahon. Here's Misty. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> You did right at that, honey. You are my official break giver. So, Miss Robbie, you wanted the brooch, and you offered 20, sweetie, sure. Oh, good. Well, my heart feels right now. <laughs> my heart feels right. Okay, ring the bell. You're going to have it. You are going to have this. Yeah, I was just thinking. What are, I mean, it's not the greatest thing to talk about when you're trying to sell stuff, but I have to be honest. Let's be honest, y'all. These are things. They come, they go, they rust. We see it every day. But people are really alive and real. And we have to be so careful how we treat them. So that's yours, darling. That is coming home to you. Yay! I hope that just brings a smile to your face. When you get it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, it did my heart good. So thank you. All right. I'm going to have to keep hubby. He is a great break giver. Huh? And are you sure on the 20? Because no, I said 10, didn't I? I thought I said I would offer it $10. So why don't we meet in the middle and do 15? How's that? All right. Now I got some little different things. Okay. <clears throat> but and I got them to take to Paul's channel Wednesday, y'all. I wish, I don't know, LC or Jen, you have a wrench. If y'all are able to, I hope it's not too much to ask. But just in case anybody wants to come over there, they have good different things over there they sell. And it's going to be on Wednesday afternoon this week at 5 p.m. Eastern. It's Paul Antonelli, A-N-T-O-N-I-E-L-L-I, -L -L -I, I think. Y'all know Paul and the Breakfast Brunch thing. Um, if y'all want to subscribe and come, I would love to see y'all in the chat. It might make me feel so good, but you don't have to. So there's Hubby. In case anybody wants to listen to a bunch of Star Wars nerds talking everything Star Wars, our show is called Light. They say I say it wrong. Sabar. Sabar. He says Sabar. Light Sabar Radio. It's on all the major platforms. New episodes come out on Thursday. Yes. And you didn't put the link. Uh, it's because I don't, I don't have you don't a know computer. How. It, but, uh, okay. So like Spotify you I just go to Google Spotify Radio. and Google yeah. Light Sabar Radio? Yeah. Okay. So if y'all like to do that or share it out or anything like that, oh good, Triple J is going to put Paul's channel in here if you might want to scrap it. And um, he was so nice to let me come. I really appreciate all the chances I've been given. All right, let's see. It 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 really is, and we got that for Jane. Okay. So this is a little different. And there, if you guys want to subscribe and put the notification bell, just in case Miss Robbie don't know, when you hit subscribe on the channel, it this little bell, it'll say all or something. There's a bell that says all. There's a bell that says none. And I don't know what the middle is. But click the all bell. And every time that person goes live, you'll get a notification on your phone or your computer. And that is how to do it. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate that, sweetie. All right. So let me get a sip of tea. This is a little different. And you know what? Look, I'm just going to offer this tonight. Only tonight. So if you see this again, if nobody buys it, and you see it again, don't think nothing when I ask more for it. Because... I'm just feeling frisky tonight. Uh, again, I was going to put this online at this much. 
It is a tax code 925, maker's mark TP2M. It's a Noah's Ark brooch slash pendant. And I will I will ask 25 for it here tonight only. Just because, like I said, I'm kind of in a good mood. So there's all its etching. It is absolutely beautiful. Sterling silver. Noah's Ark brooch. It's, I think, a one-of-a-kind piece. Well, it is. Oh, I am? Nice. Uh, this is a one-of-a-kind piece, y'all, because this tax code is very old. That tax code is a city in Mexico, and these are very popular items if, you know, to certain people. And it has a maker of, like I said, TM2, TP2M. And I'm going to offer it just like tonight at 25 um, it is sterling silver. It's beautiful. Okay. That's how big. It's pretty big. And if you're looking for a one of a kind piece for you or somebody, or, you know, be good. It is 13 grams of silver. And let's get a little closer look at it. Okay, Jim. Bye bye. I'll show y'all if you'd like to see. Let's look at its markings back here. TP2M. And there's the 95 uh, tax code. What does that say? C E R. I can't read it from here. And here is the, so that is a hand carved. You got an elephant, looks like. I don't know what all this is. Beautiful, huh? You look at my nail. That's what happens when you got a top coat polish that needs to be thrown out. You, I did a good job on my nails, and I put, there's a rhinoceros, some drafts. So that's Noah's Art brooch. And I'll offer that at 25 just for tonight, if any interest. Okay. Um that this won't be available for replay. This is just only for live chat tonight, okay? All right. So did y'all see the Western Germany ring? I think I showed it to you. Um again, this was the pricier piece. It's a uh, braided brass and it's gorgeous it is a, it's a like it could stretch out but I mean to tell you is this not beautiful I'll do this at 25 just for this sale if anybody loves it it's a very old piece it's a beautiful ring I'll give you a size if you need it and that's what you got it's most, this is most likely a cut glass, uh, stone, uh, glass, cut glass, cut colored glass. And that's what the ring, you got filigree. Sorry about trying to, it's hard to do it. So that is uh, braided brass and it does, ha it's a, it would be called an adjustable. And y'all, we can move on. I'm trying to get it shaved. See right there? It's the way it is. And we can move on to clothing if y'all would like. Would y'all like to do that? Whoever's here? Let me know if you're here. Let's do a giveaway. And all I need you to do is to put your name in chat and put a number beside of it. Well, you ain't got to put your name. It already shows up. So everybody's here and that's active in the chat and wants to play for a giveaway. I don't know. Let's say LC can't do the factor crap thing. Hi, honey. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Are you kidding? Oh, you don't have a factor crap though. No, I don't have it with me, hon. So um, should we do the number or did you see that beautiful Noah's art? 
Sorry, what did you say? Did you see the beautiful tax code Noah's Ark? Yeah, I did. I typed it in, in the chat. Wasn't it beautiful? Yeah, it was a really cool piece. Yeah, you did type it in chat. I'm sorry. That's all I right. Real, I got another real cool piece coming too. So, all right, honey, if that's too much on you to do that while you're trying to hang out, don't worry about it. What, as far as the, the number? To chat, whatever. Well. Okay. Right. I want you to hang out with your family. No, I'm really just kind of winding down around here at the minute, so. Okay, so you have, it shows eight in the chat right now. So I'd say pick a number between one and 20 or one and 30, your choice. All right, so there's only eight people here. Are you back, Gina? She's been here the whole time. So. All right, I'll let y'all go ahead and put a number in between. Honey, I need you to write down a number real quick for me. Can you write down the number real quick? Don't tell them. Oh. One in twenty. Them. There's pens on the paper. Toby's going to write down a number between one and twenty. Whoever is closest to the number without one over will be the winner. And you can write it on this. So if y'all want to go ahead and put your numbers in. You do not have to purchase supply. If, so, if you're here and you'd like to be in the giveaway, feel free to put a number in. I don't see anybody, but is that any people watching and not commenting? All right, Miss Robbie got her number now. And have you right now a number? Yeah, yeah. Did you give me the number, sweetie? Yeah. Where is it? Number two. Okay. Oh, what do I do with it? That's right there. Oh, up here. Okay, I got it, y'all. Y'all so far, Miss Robbie's the only one that's got her number in. You're the blue one. Elsie, I want you to put a number in for you. Elsie, you want, you want me to what? Put a number in for the giveaway. Like the shopping is cool. Okay, Jane got her number in. I'm not there. Have you right down the number over there? And I got it right here. Is, is there anybody else here that would like to be in the giveaway? You didn't have to purchase to do it. Let me share that, Casey. Casey, can you share that, please? Yeah. You want to get your number in, sweetie, if you're back? And what I want to do is I'll show a couple more after our giveaway. I'll show a couple more uh, pieces of jewelry. And then we will look at some other stuff if that's all right with y'all. And we'll look at clothing and we'll be wrapping it up. I think you might have a little bit of What is for Oh, I've turned her white on Jen. Yeah. I want her to be able to get her number in. Um, all right. Well, that's okay. If there's still enough here, we'll do another one later. And Jen can get her number in. So she's about to pit stop, y'all. Okay, she's got to stop in there.
So we're going to, um, I'll show y'all the number. Literally, like, when I first started drawing. And my husband picked the number. <laughs> and yet he is. <laughs> That's the thing. When you're a kid. It's the number. When you're a kid. You ever got punches without going over. You are the winner. Like. It's not just something that I woke up and learned how to do. Ben taught you a lot. Ben taught me a lot, but when you're a child, you have more neuroplasticity to be able to learn new things. I don't know if it's talking big words, Jamie. It's a true thing. It's an actual real thing. It's neuroplasticity, like your brain. Even they, able to adult, they, knowledge. they try to tell you that your brain stops developing at age 25, whatever. That's a lie. Like, well, scientists are discovering it's a lot. I mean, even, even at the age of 70, 80, like, you still have neuroplasticity. Oh, no, I see it's not a physical example. And, like, the only thing that's how I learned how to draw. Like, I, remember I, used to, I remember I used to think when I was drawing, like, man, this is terrible. Oh, and it makes you want to, like, tear it off and then just keep, like, lift it up and, you know, throw it away. But I remember thinking in my mind, like, just keep going, keep going. All right. Go ahead. I just kept doing it, you know? Who's our winner? Miss Robbie, are you the winner? All right. Congratulations, sweetheart. Um, let me know. Uh, Would you like a jewelry or non-jewelry item? It'll be a surprise, and hopefully you like it. Jewelry or non-jewelry? And I'll tell you what. Would you like to have a new little jewelry box, Robbie? Would you like a new little jewelry box? I just seem to dust it. That's a hard plastic. Tell me if you'd like this or I can get you a jewelry item. So you could put earrings, rings, or brooches in there. Let me know if you like this, sweetie, and I'll send it to you for a, give, for a giveaway gift, okay? Just because I love and appreciate y'all. So you let me know. You rather have jewelry? Okay. Let's see here. And then I'm going to show some things that are a few more pieces of jewelry, but then I want to show some non-jewelry items, and I don't know if y'all like it or not, but we'll see. Okay, let's see here what we have jewelry. Um, do you wear clip-ons or what? Jane, are you still there? I do have some real pretty little owl uh, dangles. Um, do you wear post earrings, Robbie? How about these? These are very nice earring. Do you like these? They're post. And they are beautiful, well made. If you like these, I'll send them to you. Beautiful post. They look like pine cones to me, but do you like these, sweetie? Why is that so fuzzy? I was trying to cook dinner and be on my phone. It went, went out. I'll be back. Okay, sweet. Yes, hypoallergenic. I don't know. I would say they're going to be fine. These are very nice, high-quality earring here. So, I think they will be just fine. Is that okay? Actually, I think I have a pair of hypoallergenic. Unless you want these. I think I do have a pair of hypoallergenic. My gosh, I don't know what I've done with them. I tell you what, Miss Robbie, I'm going to pick out a brooch and surprise you. That way we ain't got to worry about if the earrings are hypoallergenic or not. Will that work? Because you love brooches. I'll just pick out a brooch and I will send it to you. Is that good? 
Tell me if that's good. I need some more little pieces of paper. Okay. Oh, you want to try the earrings or do you want a brooch? I'll send you for giveaway. Brooch or earring? Brooch or earring? Tell me. Brooch or earring? You want to try the earring or you want a brooch, Charlotte? Which one? The earrings? All right. I think you want the earrings. Good. I think the earrings. Brooch. Okay. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to put me a note. Promise Robbie a brooch for her giveaway. Okay. So it'll be a surprise. How, how about that? And we will for a giveaway. Uh, did you want to text Nettie? And see if she is able to come, LC. If it's a good time for her to look at the clothes before I go here soon. Brooch for giveaway. Robbie. Pick one out. All right, I got myself a note. Okay. And y'all were dwindling down. We're dwindling down. Oh, guess what, Robbie? You ain't gonna believe this. You remember that earring I was gonna send to you for free? Just because you loved it? You remember? I hear fireworks. Remember this one right here? Well, I had it laying out. So when I did invoicing, I was going to package it up, send it to you. You could do whatever with it, right? Well, I have a surprise for you. I found the other one. So now you're going to have these pair of earrings coming also. Just because I promised you the one, but I found the other. And I don't know if these are, these are a beautiful shell or abalone. I'm not sure, but absolutely beautiful. So there, I believe they're wood. Look at that. So I, can you believe I found the other one out of all this jewelry? I cannot believe it. It must have just been meant to be. So that is also in your package, okay? All right. I don't know where all oh, people's doing fireworks and all that kind of stuff. I start to say. I don't know where my other friends are. I have no idea. Uh, but we're dwindling down, y'all. I don't know how am I going to keep going and show things with nobody, everybody leaving me. Y'all don't have to leave. I mean, you don't have to stay, but I'm just saying we can't keep going with my, not but one or two here, right? Uh, so I told you say about that brooch. I need to tell love that I cannot find the corn, uh, the corn, the little corn five pearl brooch. So if we say love, remind me to tell her about that. Uh, here was, okay, Robbie, you bought that little bolo, so that's yours. Oh, Jane, if you're still here, sweetie, I wanted to show you. I do have these little silver tone owls. You like the owls, I think. Here are a little, that light. Y'all, my son is hanging out with his buddies. My daughter's gone to Kentucky in a basketball tournament. My hubby's in there, so I'm just kind of like spending my July 4th night with y'all. Thank y'all for spending it with me, whoever's here. You should quit our lift, my people. Yeah, I know, and I will, but maybe some people will come by. I don't really have anything else to do. I got my invoice in there. So I'm just kind of hanging out looking at stuff with y'all. 
Um, but Jane, if you like the little owl, here are some little owl dangles. They're nice little earrings. I do five dollars on them, Jane, or anybody that likes them. And I've got little rhinestones. I believe they're rhinestones in their eyes. Sorry about my lighting is a little messed up. So if anybody likes these at five, they're pretty little silver tone owls dangles. Okay. All right, I do have this. It's really cool. I had never seen this. It is Jewel Rana. J-E-W-E-L-A-R-A-N-A. -E -E and I had never known of that brand until today. And when I looked up the things they made, they're famous for this refractive disc they put in their jewelry. So on this one, I am going to ask 15. It is marked that jewelry... Larima or something like that okay and it is a beautiful seahorse and here's the refractive disc i'm talking about and it, it shines like it catches a light all different colors of the rainbow so i'm asking 15 on this you can't see the colors on the camera but when you just look at it person to person you got all the colors of the rainbow in it this refractive disc here and this is the bike, and it is branded down here, asking 15. This is a nice quality piece. These are pricey, but I'm just asking 15. If anybody loves it. It looks sterling, don't it? But it is not. Isn't that beautiful? And it is a large one. And that little disc just sets it, I'm trying to backwards, sets it apart, don't it? So we have that. I got a couple more pieces of jewelry to show, show y'all. There you can see all the colors. This is the refractive disc. And they have these in all their pieces. They have different animals. Isn't that something? And just a beautiful brooch. Seahorse. Mm -hmm. And I just got a text. It might have messed up my audio. Y'all let me know. Um, are you listening? I'll say, yeah, I'm just fine. Just hanging out. You go ahead and do what you got to do. I'm good. You say there, Arla, nobody here. I'm good. I can handle it. Thank you, darling. And tell Nettie that's fine. We can look at them at some other time. But y'all, is my audio still good? I need to see if I can put it on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. Okay, I'll say eat a cheeseburger for me. Okay, and I do have this beautiful bracelet. It is marked Korea. It's a gold tone, and it is beautiful. If anybody needs a measurement, I can give it to you, and I'll ask $12 for it. It's like a herringbone. It is marked Curry on the class. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Beautiful old piece here. And in great shape. Marked Korea. If anybody loves it. Herringbone gold tone. Love you, Elsie. Good night, sweetie. Well. Be careful going home, okay? And I might be up a while if you want to call me later or something. Thank you for your help, sweetie. All righty, let's see. Here is a sterling silver flower brooch. 
It is marked with a, like six numbers. This one I'll start at $20 if any interest. It's an old one. It has heavy patina on the back. I haven't cleaned it. This is beautiful. Yes, thank y'all for thanking, Elsa, because she sure does help a lot. And y'all, if you haven't subscribed to her channel, please do. She's going to be going live before long. And hopefully she'll come up on my channel and do a collab with me. It'll be so much fun. Y'all, so much fun doing it rather than being by yourself to do it with other people. It allows you to get your potty break without having to announce it. You know, stuff like that. So if anybody's been wanting a sterling silver brooch, right here's a beautiful one. It's old. Let's look at the detail on the, each little flower petal. So that's what this is. It's a flower. Sterling silver. Asking 20. And on the box are markings. Somewhere in here. Heavy patina. What I mean, you can see the oxidization, the green. There's the number marking and all of this. So, asking 20 on that. Just for tonight. Jane, did you see the little owl dangles? I don't know. Do you like owls or, or what? Okay, let's put the owls up. Let's put this up. And I'm going to show some clothes. This is a sterling silver. It is a P. It's an initial brooch. And it is, it's got some wear on the back. It hasn't been cleaned. There's your sterling mark right here. And it's a P. And I can do 15 on this one if anybody likes it or wants it. Nice size. All right, let me put this up and I'll, we'll look at a few clothes. I, I'm not bothered if it goes down to zero. I will cut it off, but I don't have anything else to do right now. And it's helping my mom to be off other stuff. So... Feel free to hang out with me if I want to. And when I get done showing, I might just do a little chitty chat if anybody wants. And two, I don't know if anybody has seen these. This is scissors and a knitting needle, label pen. With a little heart and a little uh, like peach color. I don't know if it's raisin field or what. Oh, okay, yeah. And you loved the butterflies. So uh, I could do this at $6 if anybody likes it. This is a nice piece here. And it's just. I believe thread and a needle and scissors and I will do it at six dollars if any interest um, it's a label pen so it's not a brooch and this little pen here this one is not does not feel secure on it I would have to find another backing which I have some extra little ones but it won't be this one because this one doesn't make it feel very secure to me and you'd want it to be a good tight fit. So I would have to look for another little backing. But I can. I believe I have some. And it is um, a spool of thread. Very pretty. A needle. It's got. If I can get it to hold still y'all. It has got a little heart. And it has a pair of scissors. You say. And it is like I said. It's a lipo pen. This is very nice. And tonight, I'll ask $6 if anybody loves it. But I will have to find the little backing. 
and it's not broke to its lipo pin. Y'all hear those fireworks? Hear them? Say happy birthday, America. Happy birthday. If anybody needs a little um, eyeglass, a real pretty eyeglass case, I'll ask five for it. This is a beautiful yellow, and look at the pretty uh, enameled painted gold tone flower. Oh, no, I see it's missing. I thought it was made like that. So I'll do this at $3 if anybody likes it. It's missing the little middle part. I thought it was supposed to be like that. It looks fine to me. You want the gold tone sewing? Oh, you're helping me. You're helping me, aren't you, Jane? Is that what you're doing, sweetie? Okay, well, thank you. Well, feel free. Don't feel obligated. If you don't get everything I say or you miss something, don't worry about it. There's only five people here. And actually, I only know you and Robbie are even talking. So maybe somebody can't. Yes, I will. I'll take four for it. Um, and uh, this is $3. And that is just a nice... Uh, Actually, you know what? I think this is a checkbook cover. What do y'all think? I thought it was an eyeglass case. I think you could, but I believe this is a checkbook cover, y'all. So $3 if anybody likes that. Real pretty plaid. And real pretty. Like I said, this little flower is missing its middle thing. But I thought it looked just fine like that. But $3 if anybody likes that. And yes, ma'am, I will. I'll do four on that. Let me go, go back over here and get it. I'll just have to find you backings. Happy for Happy Fourth of July, Lori. Yay! Ring the bell for Lori here. And that's great, Jane. You don't even have to be so detailed. Wow, that's awesome. But you do if you want to. Um. Let me get that little, uh, happy 4th of July to you, darling. I'm surprised you're not at the fireworks or something with the kids. Or maybe you are. Let me find what I just did with it. There it is. And I'm going to have to, I got to make myself a note, Jane. Find another backing that will fit good on this. Find a backing. So, I got a few little things. I got reminders right down for up here. Okay. And, Laurie, are you still there? That sign, I invoiced you for it, sweetheart. Um, but I won't be shipping out until Tuesday. So, as long as you, if you could cover it by Tuesday, it'd be great. <clears throat> Your little sign, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she's here, but not really here because she's at a, still at a family function. She helped for a while, but I think she's getting ready to drive home. So it was different, wasn't it, without her? But anyway, on your sign, it's going to make me have to ship that differently. I hope and pray I can still keep it at that shipping cost we had. Because I can, I cannot be in that side. You know? Hey, Missy. Uh huh. Hey, sweetheart. I apologize, but I've got to go. I thought you already did go. No, there's people hugging and talking and. Offer? Yeah. Go ahead. But, uh, yeah. So I told you, I said, if you here. need to go, you go on. You ain't in guts to tell me. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> you have All right. I love you. Be careful. Love you. Uh, bye to everybody. Happy, later. happy 4th of July. Later. If, it's, if it's before 11. Bye. All right, sweetheart. Happy bye, 4th, sweetie, 4th of July. Happy 4th to y'all. Right. Um, Laurie. Uh, honey, you ain't got to, if you can't tonight, as long as it's by Tuesday, I'll be mailing stuff out Tuesday, so it's fine, you don't have to do it now, sweetie, I don't even have your cash app information, y'all, I'm gonna take a potty, I don't even have your cash app, 
Thank you, my mom. How do you do that? I'm not that weird of cash up. I only use it for one slate parcel. I only use Bamba for one slate parcel. But I actually like cash up the best because it's the simplest, it's the easiest. Uh, but I just try to have two or three different ones to make it comfortable, you know, for everybody. Because some people only have to play out. You know what I mean? But yeah, that won't ship till Tuesday, y'all, because we have like, the mailbox is closed tomorrow, remember? But like I said, Lori, I will try on my videos. I have to be, sometimes I have to turn on my boxes, y'all. Try to keep the shipping there. Um, so I'm going to do my best because I can't bend that sign. And I actually went back to try to get some more Marilyn Monroe because I want one for my daughter's birthday or Christmas. And he's going to try to find me some more Marilyn Monroe. Oh, you mean PayPal. Okay. Either way, I do have cash out. Okay. And this, Lord, we only got three people here, y'all. Everybody's abandoned me. I, I didn't I didn't think many people would be on tonight, which is fine. But I'm not in a rush. If y'all need to go, don't worry. If it, leaves, if it leaves me here with nothing, my light might fail. Don't worry. I'll close if it goes down to zero. Y'all don't feel obligated. I'm just, I really don't have anything to do and working through a few little things here. So it's no biggie to me. Um, yeah, I like Cash App Jane. I'm glad you told me about it. All right. So I'm going to show a few pieces of clothing. Let me put these little girls' clothes up. I had these out ready for Nanny. But everybody's busy on 4th of July. I had never picked up the little girl's clothes to show. So I didn't know who might like them or who might need them or who might want them. But these are, I had a good time picking out little dresses, y'all, for little girls. I hadn't done that so long. And just to show y'all, look at this adorable little sweater. Is that not so sweet? Oh, gosh, it made me think of my little girl. And she's about to be 16. Look at this. And they're beautiful little clothes. That says Girl Hero. Um, I, I'm saving these to show to Nanny for a little Stella Rose. And look at this pretty little red puff jacket. <laughs> I'm hanging out, helping. Well, good, honey. And I am so sorry. Do you know Richard? You know Richard Andrews, right? You know his little Bobby passed away in his arms. And it's been a couple months now, and he just adopted a new rescue. I don't know if you knew that, but, man, I'm telling you, just to hear him cry like a little boy. I know. They're just like a young one. But let's, not, let's take a break from it, okay? Your mind needs a rest. All right, let's, see. let's just lay these back up here. Um. I'll go through a few little clothes. See what we got. My dad's girlfriend, Frances, she helped me to go and hang up all the clothes that I had hangers for. So that was so very helpful. Um, Gosh, is that, I've only sold three items tonight, right? Because that's all I have right here. So I hope I'm, I haven't missed anything. Well, actually, there's one over there, two over there. Okay. Just like if I have sense. But anything y'all want me to talk about or anything, just let me know and I'll talk about it. I don't have nothing going on tonight. So here's a pair of capris. Missy, oh, thank you, sweetheart. I hope I didn't make you feel rushed. I was just letting you know that it won't go out till Tuesday. And what I really wanted to let you know was that I hope and pray I can get that fixed into, yeah, if you ship something that's over 18 inches in length, which that sounds not, it, I can't use box and bag rate for y'all. So it increases our shipping. So I'm not even really buying anything that's over 18 inches long anymore. Did you roll into that? Well, I'm going to go out there. 
for the corner. Well, be careful. Right. Are the dogs okay with all those fireworks? I haven't heard a peep from them. Of course, I've got them in there. <clears throat> Love you, honey. Y'all, these are amends, aren't they? These are amends, aren't they? Why is it say W? It's a 52. I believe that's men. Save it for me that way. Okay. Yeah, that'll be great. That'll be great. That way we can start fresh because I already had all those purses done up. Thank you. But those are a men's 52. And I can do $10 on them. I think it's a great deal. These are a very nice Jeffrey Bean. 100% cotton. Aren't those nice? It's hard to find larger sizes, y'all, at inexpensive because it might cost an arm and a leg for larger sizes, and you don't even get the variety that other people get. Seriously, don't I? I know. I've been thinner in my life, and I've been bigger. And I know they don't like that. You just don't have as many choices. So we're going to lie. I'm not going to show me as close. I was just kind of wondering if that was... Okay, y'all, this is an Alfred Dunner. I've been picking up a lot of Alfred Dunner. I really like this brand, and I'm noticing it's very quality and well-made. This is a beautiful jean jacket. It's a zip-up. It's a size 20, and I can do it at $10 if anybody likes it. Let me show you. It's a silver tone hardware on this jacket. It's a, it's a thinner, lightweight denim. And look here what I'm just noticing, the little... You know, the thing you grab onto to do the zip is not there. So I bet Francis can fix it. It'll zip. It's just missing its little thing. But I'm going to look what a pretty little jacket. I'm going to see if Francis can fix this for me. So don't worry about this one, honey. I'm going to see if Francis can help me with that. Tag on that. All righty. Here we have a, this is Dress Barn. It's a 1X. Dress Barn's a very nice brand. And this is black with some tan and a dark purple flower. That's just going to button it when you look at it on the hanger. Where is my buttonhole? Oh, there it is. And I'm sorry if y'all hear the fireworks. It'll be happening for the next two hours, probably. Well, it is just starting to get dark, so. Anyways, I can do this little blouse at $6, if anybody likes it. I was trying to button it on the hanger. It is a 1X. Lightweight, nice. And it does have the little tie here for the back. At 6 and that's what you got. Alfred Dunner, size 20 at 6. Oh, no problem, sweetie, because, look, there's four people here, and only two of y'all are talking. So, <laughs> you know. All right. Let me put something down right here so I can keep us keep it separated. Well, will you tell Haley that I'm sending my love to her? You know. And I ain't no words making anybody feel better, but y'all, this is beautiful. It is, um, I can do eight dollars on it. It's the Jacqueline Smith Extra Extra Large. Jacqueline Smith Extra Extra Large, and I think I said eight. Oh, I love this. It's got an elastic band at the top, and this is. You see the pleats. I'm stretching it out. But it's got the pleats. It does have a built-in little thin black liner here. And uh, like I said, $8. This is a beautiful peachy pink, black skirt, and you white flower. Don't know what kind of flowers they are. I love this. This comes by my knee. And that's what you got. Size 20 at $8. If anybody likes that, very nice. Put that on the hanger. Yeah, I'm looking to invest in a rack, a heavy duty rack. I think 
for instance, told me it holds up to 350 pounds. 350 pounds, and that's what I made. Misty, you look great. Oh, it's not orange. Ah, thank you, though. It is red. This is, I'm trying to do red, white, and blue. If I get closer, can you see it looks redder? It's red, but back here I noticed it looked orange, and I never wear red. I just wore it for y'all for red, white, and blue. And my blue is my blue jeans. <laughs> All right. So on this, I put this together as an outfit. I can do $12 on it. There's a 3X spandex and poly tank. Very beautiful. And I put it with these. It's an in touch on the tank. Again, a 3X. And then this, I got it as a set because it went together so well. And it's a 2X pant. And very nice. You got pockets. You got the little tie drawstring. They also button and zip. And they're a 2X. And so I'm just asking. 12 for the set. If anybody likes them, they're a nice soft capri. And I thought that looked gorgeous together. So you can't buy a little extra 2X and 3X size clothing, clothing at that price anywhere, can you? Maybe if you go hunt and thrift it. But that takes time. And if, I don't know if you'd call it luck, but... <laughs> So that's, that's your little set on that at 12. Anybody likes it. I got to get up close so I can see because I can't read nothing back here. Thank you for putting that, sweetie. Oh, you're good at it. You're very detailed. But now, is that too much work? If it is, don't worry about it. Now, these, y'all, I was I think I showed one time. I said, if I don't sell them, I'll keep them for myself because I love cool locks. They are back in style, cool locks. These are absolutely so soft. It's by Southern Lady. It's a 2X, but I'll tell you about them. And I'll do them at seven if you need interest. I love the green and blue. I think it's beautiful together. They're nice big legs and super cool and soft. So they're a 2X, right? Well, I tried them on. I'm a 2X. And y'all, these are going to go up to 4X. These um, were falling off of me. So a 3X to a 4X can easily wear these. They're very super soft, cool. They're not cotton, uh, cool lock. And I absolutely thought they were so cute. Um, Southern Lady, they say 2X, but like I said, I'm calling them a 4X. Two, and my arms, oh. No, you didn't tell too much. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. But beauty is only skin deep, isn't it? So these are made out of polyester and spandex. That's why they feel so good. So these are a 4X at $7, basically, is what I'm trying to say by Southern Lady. I love the blue and green. I think it's fabulous together. All righty. I run slow, I'm kind of slowing down. This is a 1X apartment nine. And it is just a, it's kind of like sheer. You probably want to take top with it. But I absolutely love this gray with um, a dark gray and black floral print to it. It's a little elastic bottom with some ruffles. I can do this at $5 if anybody likes it. Oh, no problem, Jane. I don't think anybody's interested in anything. I think y'all are just hanging out with me. And that's just fine. So, apartment nine, one X at five dollars. Pretty little blouse. I really, oh, I like that. So, that's what that is.
Miss Robbie, are do you mind saying, are you married, widowed, or live by yourself, or is that too personal? Don't answer if you don't want to. I was just wondering, just just to know. Um, this is a. It's called Forty Two Pops. It's a large, and you've got like a mustard greenish brown. It's not a bright. It's more of a lilo type. So pretty thinner. It must have um, polyester. It's got a stretch. You see, it's a little sleeve thin. Uh, I'll do five dollars on this if anybody likes it. I love neutral colors. I'm a very neutral color. My skin, 42 Pops is the name, and it is a large. I love that shirt, and we get it for highly, but I believe it'd be too short. We wear longer shirts. Yes, I understand that, too. If we come across a longer one, I'll tell you. Okay? But, honey, don't worry about unless you're just wanting to practice or whatever. Don't worry about putting all that detail. You just put how much if you want to. Because I don't think there's anybody in here purchasing right now. So I don't want you to have to work, but you do what you want to do. Y'all, these are really nice. They're called Aflani, A L F A N I Woman. They're a 22. And I believe we've got we've got rayon nylon spindex. Very soft. You got stretch. I'll do these at eight on these. They're very nice dressy capri. Um, oh, I love the color. Here's how the bottom comes down. Here's what the back looks like. Love you, sweetie. Thank you. If any interest in that. Soft. You got a little stretch. Very nice. Oh, yeah, they are. Talk to you later. Is that what she said? Good night, sweetie. Love you, Miss Robbie. Sweet dreams, you take care. This is a gorgeous blouse. And Jane, we're probably going to wind it down here in a second. So, because I think I'm just showing them to you, um, which I don't care. But S, I say C E S T Y L E. It's a 3X blouse. It has a real soft. Very soft lining inside. And here, a beautiful blouse. Look at the sleeve. You got the button and the little strap. So if you want to roll it up, you can. But that's what you have on that. Oh, I love I love that plate going down the middle. I can do seven on this blouse. Very nice. Blush pink. It's just a little bitty sheer at the very bottom. And that's what you have for that one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. All right. Now, this is super beautiful. Um, it is a large made in Italy. I'm going to do 10 on it. It's Elena Baldi, Baldi. And when I was going out to eat with my husband and the kids the other night to celebrate our anniversary, I put this on. So, though it says a large, it fit me, and it fit me. Okay, I've got this on. Let me just show y'all. It's like a little cover, and oh, look at that. So, this is going to fit, I'm going to say easily a 3 and 4X. I look how beautiful it is. It's loose. It's just like a cover. You know what I mean? And you got your very nice loose sleeve. And I had a tank top on under it, and I would have wore it, but it didn't look good with the jeans I had on. I actually had these jeans on, but I actually, if I don't sell this, it's going to be mine because, oh gosh, it's pretty. Um, it's not white. That's like a little tan, light tan color, but isn't that beautiful? Do you have the bracelet on that I was talking about? No, these are the bracelets. I think I know what kind. These are a style that you're talking about. My sister got me all these. They see you see the M. See the M. And there's one that says Big Sis on here. My sister got me these. 
that one says gratitude and grace. But what these are, Jane, these are stainless steel. They're Alex and Ani, which is a brand. And I think I thought I, that that's this is the type you were talking about. You're talking about the bracelet like this. It's got a name. I can't remember what it is. Um, but I asked Tian on this. This is a real nice. If I did ask Tian on this one. If this is the one you're talking about, sweetie. Isn't it beautiful? Um, but a very large, loose, kind of be soft. Uh, you wear it over something. But is this the kind of bracelet you mean you like? These are Alex and Ani. Um, they have all different little charms. I will have to look for you. But no, these ones were mine. Some of them have a little wear on them. But my sister got them. I actually have two more. And I like to wear them all at one time. It might be a little overboard, but I do. I like to wear them all at one time here. But um, I'm trying to play. You want me to look since nobody's here? You want me to look and see if I see them? What is that stuck to my... I always got a sticker or something stuck to it. Um, okay, so let's put the clothes up. And I'll look if you want me to and see. If I... Do you like stainless steel? Have you wore stainless steel? Let's see. Yes, that is the bracelet. But the one you had that I was talking about, it had a charm on it that means something special to me. Okay, what what did it have on the charm, sweetie? That was special to y'all. Let me hang these clothes. I'm keeping these in mind in my head. I'm taking over my husband's side of the closet. Not meaning to, but I've got to get, like I said, i got to order the racks. So let me hang these up real quick, and I will come back and look. We'll look, okay? We will look. I'll be right back. I gotta make two trips. Okay, let me get the men's. And then I'll look. There's nobody here. We'll look and then we'll close up. But... I got the bus. The ponies are ordered. I am completely out. I got like one. All right. What was on it that was special? Let me look at the exact thing that was on it. Hold on. I've seen one on eBay. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Bracelets. Oh, yes, I've seen the bracelets you wear. Love. Those are beautiful. Okay, yes, yeah, she's going to tell me what. Hope you're doing well. If you did, you find my hubby's uh, mini podcast. Um, the first one he said he didn't buy anybody listen to because they were all over each other and he actually picked on himself. He didn't realize how much he said the word um, but he actually referred to himself as Captain Um. <laughs> Because he said it so many times. So he's been working on that. And a lot of them have got better microphones. Like noise cancellation and stuff. And he got a good one for $42. And so that episode 2 was even so much better. And now they just recorded yesterday episode 3. And they come out on Thursdays. I, I actually don't know anything about Star Wars. I listen to it of course just because... I'm listening to it, but I actually really like it. You know, it's interesting, and they do a good job together. They have a girl named Charlie. She's from UK, and I love UK accents. I could listen to it all day. Um, but yeah, he's tickled to be doing it. It's fun. All right. 
So I'm gonna look and say she's gonna look and say what she's talking about with bracelets. So anybody that's listening or watching and not talking, I hope y'all are all right. And I hope everybody's okay and doing good. And I'm actually going ahead and while I'm just sitting here chit chat. Get these down and I'll have the invoices finished out. I'm going to find what it is under Misty. His broadcast. Okay, sweetie, it's um, Light Sidebar Radio. That's what you got to put in on Spotify or I don't know what other thing it is, but L I G H T S A B A R Radio. Light Sidebar Radio. That's what it is. And um, I got to find the backing for that. While Jane's looking up something here. And Miss Robbie. I think I had to make her a credit invoice for that. Uh, just kind of this, a slow night to have a sale, July 4th. It was just a pop up, but at least I got to hang out, hang out with some good folks. While you're looking, Jane, I'm just sitting here putting these two or three things I saw tonight on invoices. Okay. I cannot find it. Okay, that's no problem. It's lyrics from the song we love. I'll have to ask Kaylin. She's on the phone. Okay, no problem. I'm just sitting here adding in these two or three items I sold tonight on an invoice, so I'll have these done. Um, y'all, if y'all need to go, no problem. I'm just going to do this. If there's anything else you want to look at, I can do that. But I just thought... I'll do this. Um, I wish I could remember. It was a lyric to a song. I'm just trying to think. That drives me bonkers when I can't think of something. I'm sure y'all do it too. Um, Don't it just drive you bonkers? Does me. Happens more and more too. You had two of them, and like I said, it was a long time ago. Wow, really? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thankful you stayed out. You're not holding me up. I'm still letting it go for a minute. If somebody comes by, I won't say something, or you can hang out with me. Whatever you want to do. I was just adding these two or three little things on my <clears throat> thing, and then I'm going to turn around and look and see if I can see what in the world I, it's so hard for me to remember the easiest little thing sometimes so no problem you do whatever you want or need to do yeah I could might have them in the jewelry bag right? um, but they were like this so Alex and Ani oh you're so sweet I tried to do red white and blue on my blue jeans for y'all it's been a slow night. Not really. Hardly anybody's come. But that ain't no problem. Everybody's watching the fireworks and stuff. 
<laughs> Happy 4th to you. Did you get to watch some? I'm trying to put this in here real quick because we were just so very slow. And me and Jane was just chip chatting. And send love to Jane. Their little baby passed away, the doggy. Mac, it's real bad, sad. <sighs> Awful. So she basically has just come to, you know, ease her mind a little if possible. And my mind could use easing too. I got a family member going down here rapidly. And don't we all have something and any relief we can get or give to somebody, you know, is, well, it's a good thing to do. Yeah. All right. So we got that. And I'm thinking her email is her PayPal. I'm just putting something on an invoice real quick, y'all. Shan, are you wanting to just do me hold your box? I think all you've got is the little purse. I think. Is that what you're wanting or you want me to mail like just a little purse? Since you're here, I just thought I would ask. Usually if it's just one item. Um, thank you, Jane. If it's just one item, I assume to hold the package. Okay, hold it. Unless it's a new person, a new customer, and then I always ask. Um, but... What you doing tonight, sweetie? You didn't go see any uh, fireworks? Some people, that's traumatic or they can't stand it, you know? All right, she got the little, is this Ava? I am going to turn on her and look, darling, even if you need to go. Um, this is what I've sat here been like this all day and done today, y'all. Invoice though. And I try so hard to not make any errors. But sometimes I make an error. And that's why I always appreciate anybody that give, can give me patience or kindness or overlook a little something. Not that I wouldn't make it right if something was wrong. But I just mean to be graceful towards me. Because... We're always some, you know, we're going to be standing in need of forgiveness one day or we're going to make a mistake and or we're going to break something of somebody's. And, you know, um, like when I was cleaning, I was cleaning this woman's house. It was kind of like a big, nice house. And I was dusting and, you know, I was trying to go fast. My gosh, how did I even clean that house by myself? And I broke, um, it was fall and it was some kind of little candle holder. And I broke it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you know. Um, I dreaded telling her so bad because I was so afraid she might fire me or she's going to be mad. And I just said, if I have ever been gracious or kind to somebody, please let it come back to me today. And I didn't want to tell her because that was the barely littlest crack, y'all. And I don't think she would ever know, just sit, whatever. It didn't ruin it. It was this tiny little crack. And I just could not. I thought, no, I cannot. It just was going to bother my conscience if I didn't tell her. So I texted her and told her. And she sent back, oh, it's fine. It's just stuff. It can be replaced. No worries. Don't you worry about it. And I was like, Phew, you know. And so what I'm saying is, 
I always try to, I try to be like that towards people because I'm going to mess up, break something, whatever, and I'm going to need somebody to forgive me. So what goes around does come around. Oh, thanks, Shane. Just, a, just an old average ordinary human being. I don't know if I make myself look like I'm better than that sometimes, or I don't. I hope not. Or maybe people have higher expectations of me that I'm able to keep. I don't know. And inevitably, I'm going to make a mistake in anything. I don't know. You know? But thank y'all for the vote of confidence. Yeah. You have or I do? You have a lot like that too or I do? I have a lot like that. Y'all, I have got to find that crystal, Austrian crystal butterfly real quick. For Miss Robbie. Obviously, or what did I do with it? I put it up and I shouldn't have. I'm going to grab it. Um, and Jane, I got to find you a bike and for your. So now, yeah, I can grab some stuff here and see. But if you were to just know, let me just show you. And we'll see how much jewelry. And thank the Lord, Miss Francis has helped me. I'm just going to move y'all over here. That thing, I had bought this. I got a great deal on it. It's that real soft. What do you call that thing? Trunk chest, but it, it opens. And I had got it. My daughter took it from me as soon as I got it. So I let her have it. Well, the other day I noticed upstairs, which is like, like a war zone. She's almost 16, teenage girl. And uh, she wasn't using it, so I brought I got it back. Now, that is all filled with jewelry. Uh so you see what I mean about going through stuff. But, oh, Shan, I don't know if you like Chris, uh, amethyst. I have this amethyst formation. It's absolutely gorgeous. I did start it at 30. No obligation. Um, but it is so beautiful. And it's a big ottoman, yes. And the way it is cut, oh, my. Look at that. And, you know, these are expensive, especially the bigger cut ones. But is it not gorgeous and beautiful? Uh, just thought I'd show you. I want to show you. How beautiful they cut this rock up. Is it not? Look at that. Amethyst formation. I love it. Ain't that pretty? I ought to think that you cut open um, very average, ordinary gray rock, and you're going to find that. It does have to felt on the bottom. I mean, I love and stone and stuff like that. I, I'm not by no means good at identifying and all, but I am learning. Now I got to find that brooch. That we just saw in this Robbie, the Austrian crystal brooch butterfly. Is this it? I hope so. No, that's the Jerry's. Oh, I didn't show this one. It's a beautiful butterfly brooch. Do you wear brooches, Shane? Um, I gotta get this. Break, um, no, I'm just hanging out with my buddies. Um, we're not really selling each other. I'm just working on the voice and we're chit chatting. Well, I'm fine, but I'm gonna stretch out. Are you? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, you're not light-headed, are you? I'm fine. You sure? Look. Love you. Love you, buddy. Um, 
you don't wear anything decorative anymore. Oh, you don't wear brooches? Well, anyway, I want to show you. Isn't this beautiful? This is a beautiful, it's a Jerry's. Back of it, how well made. And Shan, you don't really wear anything decorative anymore. Well, honey, I'm going to tell you what, I am the most plain Jane. Sorry about that, Jane. I bet you've heard that before. I always say that about myself. I'm a very plain Jane. Um, and I only try to wear, I mean, if you're selling jewelry, you probably should try to wear a little jewelry. So I have started just, I try to put on a little makeup. I try to fix my hair a little bit, which I didn't tonight. I try to wear a little blouse. But normally, if you see me, I've got a ball cap on, no jewelry. I do put a little eyeliner and a little mascara to try to put some life into my face. And that's it. Jeans, my slides, and I am a tomboy. But I, I try to look kind of decent when I come on here. Try to be, you know, like that. But I'm a very tomboy. <laughs> very much. You like that one? Same. You're the same way? So, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm just trying to represent a little bit here. Trying. But you can't dress up a little country girl but so much. You know, uh, and where I used to clean houses, I was like, if I'm clean, I'm doing good. Much less make up my hair. If I was just clean, I was doing good. And you know that brooch since Robbie just bought, dang, that's what I'm sitting here looking for. I don't know what I did with it. That's what I'm sitting here looking for. What was her name? The ring I had on was beautiful. Which one was it? I think that was a little Leah Sophia, my mama. She sold it at one time. Was it Leah Sophia or? Yeah, I think. She used to sell it and she got like $500 free merchandise. And it was so nice. I had never had anybody do something like that. She sent me and my sister and said, go online and look up this jewelry and pick out $100 worth whatever you want. That was so much fun. And I didn't really wear rings. And these rings were real nice and everything. And I picked that one out. And it was a big, fancy one. Well, to me. And I like big rings because my hands are so big. And I picked that out. But it is missing two or three little stones. But I ain't worried about it. Um, so y'all bear with me a second I am trying to find the Austrian crystal brooch that I just sold her um, and it's got to be right here and it went far I wonder if it dropped Here somewhere, I'm making it too large. Do I ever do that? You ever make something harder than it has to be? Oh, I bet it's right in here because that's what, yeah, I bet it's right in here. But you know, as I've been doing this a little more, I'm actually realizing that jewelry is an art. And I'm actually starting to realize, wow, I mean, this is just art with metal or, you know, it's, it's art just like any other kind of art. It really is. And you have different artists and some artists are more famous than others. And that's just basically what it is. So it is causing me to appreciate a little bit more, not so much in having rings or you know, the latest, greatest, or whatever in the name brand of it, I'm all, but basically just enjoying art out with metal and stone and precious metals. And that's basically what is changing as far as the way I look at 
jewelry. Realizing that it's really actually just art. And I never ever saw it that way before. Oh, Chinese got a gun. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I love that song. I really did. Uh, I said, wasn't in that, all right? Only one more of the place they could be here. But what do y'all think? Oh, wow, I hear a bunch of fireworks when I fell. Have y'all ever thought about jewelry as art? I'm sure a lot of people do that can do it and done it for a long time, but I have. The seahorse, the flower bridge. Okay. It is not there. If I could just find this, I'll be at peace for a second. Yeah. And I wanted to chit chat with you a minute. You're going to be there a minute, but it's aggravating me because. I just had this beautiful brooch and I'm having a hard time to find it. I'm here somewhere. Somebody cry, I'll find it, will you? I'm right here somewhere. I also, I'm into leather. I'm into leather um, bracelets. Do you like that, Shan? Or anybody? Uh, I, I don't know. I just like the brown leather bracelet. And it don't even have to be leather. Like, this one's super cool. <sighs> oh, really? Look at this. I love that. And it feels good. That's kind of my style, the like leather bracelets. That's a little bit more flashier beaded one than I like kind of the plain brown. But all right. I'm spinning circles. I need to quit that brooch. Is right here somewhere. I did get that in here. Mandela effect. You won't believe I come across this maker of leather bracelets called Fung, F U N G. I mean, those things are selling 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks for that piece of leather bracelet. Can you believe that? All right, so save this, put this up a second, get serious about this. 
make the sale, just break the motor for the road. Because right there got is I just want to take her out my branch. Oops, that's not what I am doing. I don't know if y'all, I don't know what that means. I mean, I've heard that, but I don't know. I I'm aggravating y'all. I'm aggravating myself. Watch it be right up under my nose. Oh. Did I hang it up right here? I'm just, I could have shit it and closed this down, but I'm just, oh my gosh, y'all. Thank you. Answer prayer. I guarantee you this is it right here. <laughs> yep. And yours, Jane. So, I'm going to quit messing with this for, uh, I found it. Yay. All right. It was absolutely beautimous. Austrian crystal. Honestly, those will sell near a hundred dollars or more. Gorgeous. Uh, so that is done. I found my sister a sloth pen today. She loves sloths. My sister half sister lives in Maine. <laughs> That is soft and bendable. I hope the pen writes. What do y'all think? <laughs> yeah, I know on that. I do have, if anybody likes them, I do have two more. I picked up two more. Didn't know if we had any sloth lovers out there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's got the little plastic tip on it. So, oh, yeah, cool. All right, it does right. So, we'll put that up for her. She'll love that. Now, I'm done. Oh, I was going to see if I saw that. Did you figure out what the saying was, Jane? Did I miss it? You love sauce? Okay, you're going to have one. That's going in your. That is going in your bag, darling. I think I've got it laying right here. Miss Sh Miss Shania. Okay, that's Jane's box. That's Diana. What did I do with Shane's? Oh, here it is. Got your purse ready, and I'm putting that in there. You see, one reason I put a description price and all that, it was just a few bucks because when, yeah, I know that's exactly what LC says, so you're right, I know. Y'all are just more thorough than I am. No problem, Shane, darling. Now, I have bags upon bags of bracelets. I'm going to see if I see them real quick right here. What you, did you figure out the site? And you said I showed them a long time ago. Were you with me in the beginning, or you mean a long time ago when you first started watching? Is that what 
what's your name? I wonder if they'll be in my bracelets, Father. And they say so. Hmm. Look at this big hunk of, hunk of burning love, y'all. See how big from back there? Oh, that's a huge. Well, you could hang it. You could put your keys on it. I don't know. You could do whatever. Okay, these are all brooches. Oh, uh, that's not it. Um. And I have so many vintage jewelry boxes, y'all. I am loving vintage jewelry boxes. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. I don't even care if they're in bad condition. Because they're just gorgeous. And they're old. And I have a story. And I don't know what the story is. And I just love it. I say, oh, I found some. What are these? Oh, shoot, those were the owls I just showed. Okay. Let's see if I see any more. And this, did y'all see this? I bought this to sale, but I couldn't let go of it. Now, this is, people will say, are you tempted to keep some of that pretty jewelry? I'll be like, no, here's what I'm tempted to keep. This is an old quilt somebody made, right? And <laughs> is this not the most amazing thing you've ever seen? Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so 70s. Um, pink strawberries, your pears and oranges, your apples, and the colors. Oh, all day long for me, y'all. This is the kind of stuff I'm getting. Get. <laughs> I don't know if y'all love it, but I do. And I, I can't try even sell it. Somebody made that. It might have been my, a long-lost relative of mine, what I'm thinking, because that is so my style. Or I'm tempted to keep artwork. The jeweled out butterfly. Oh, yeah. I'm tempted to keep artwork, like I'll show you. I think I saw this real pretty cowboy boots. Let's see. So that's like an animal. Pretty. That looks native. That looks superhero hero um Spider-Man. So I'm tempted to keep this. This I just got and absolutely love it. That is beautiful. Oh, the light. It's a beautiful, like sensual type of dance. I don't know what kind of dance they're doing, but she's laid back. Is that not beautiful? And um, so I had to keep that. This I had to keep. That's actually a pretty great, good artist here. Um, if you got an original, it'd be good. So, actually, there was two. A red one. And it would have been, it's another whole frame. And it was set on the other side of that nighttime sky. But the frame was broke. And I just didn't. And then, of course, y'all have seen this one, which everybody told me was a famous mm -hmm. photo. Uh, the guy coming back from war and he just grabs a lady and kisses her. Can y'all see that? So I have no rhyme or reason. I'm, I am a eclectic, whatever I like. It doesn't have to match, you know. And there, I love that tiger. It looks like something I would have drew in middle school or something, if y'all can see it. And then, of course, this one, my shadow's on it. Sorry if I'm mucking y'all dizzy. I absolutely love this one. This is just in my little selling room here. You got two ladies on a bicycle. Look at their legs. Out in the town, gallery, Paris. I don't know, this kind of looks, well, Paris. With their little umbrella, and I've been shopping. Jennifer Garant, I think. So she's a pretty well known artist. Too. So that is the kind of stuff I love. That one with the kiss is so famous. Baby Boomers. Yeah. <laughs> I was just showing you some of my little artwork I love. And I actually really love that sign that Laurie got. I'm trying to find another one with Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart and Marilyn Monroe sitting there playing poker. 
Just like the aluminum tin. Which I already did sell it, darling. I did, darling. I was just trying to show you how pretty it was. Um, I let Miss Robbie get it. I was going to put it online and sell it for a lot, but I offered a good little deal and she did take it. Do you like, if you like stuff like that, I'll keep my eye out for you. Another pretty one. Uh, you don't collect teapots, do you? I do have a pretty little teapot that has Austrian crystals in it. Hi, Nat. Um, gosh, it's only 1030. Yes, yeah, she was. But she didn't really think she was. She got body shamed and all this so much. And, you know, you think people that are famous, uh, um, Hollywood celebrities and stuff, the blue stuff, Delft, Delft, blue stuff, what's that mean? But you think they have it all and all to live their life, but not really. You know, they are so body conscious. Do you know what kind of torture they put their bodies through to have nose jobs and this, that, and other jobs? How every eye is on everything. How they have no privacy. Paparazzi all the time. And you know what? If you got a lot of money now, well, all of a sudden you got all the anxiety that goes along with keeping it safe, hiring a wealth management manager, um, insurances, security, you name it. So think about that. I don't think they're really that great of a life. Old Holland style with blueprints. You mean like um, artwork, paintings and stuff? Um, I just saw this one. This is beautiful. Not happy. Why? Let me look at it. I just caught my eye. This is the strangest little thing. I've got a little tiny spider lipo pen with a. I don't think it's five pearl. I don't think it's a real pearl on its body. Y'all look. It's a little spire with her. Why not kill themselves? Oh, you're agreeing with me. Yeah, right? But this is what was so pretty. What is this? Smart. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, my. And it is tiny, though. Look at this. It's a heart. And this might be gold. I'm not sure. Y'all, I'm getting hungry. I'm, I wish I had been to a cookout today and had me a good cheeseburger or something or hot dog. Um, see if we can find the mark and what it says I don't know my money my problems exactly so we got a mark on that that's just gorgeous I want to see what it is Let's check it out. Welcome to anybody that comes by. We're not really. We're just hanging out. It's open in the back. I believe that's crystal. My money, my problems. And I ain't that the truth. And if you think about it, all money does really is just give you more options. For example, if you have $20 in your bank account, your options might be limited to a McDonald's combo. If you have a hundred in your bank account, 
you might can choose McDonald's or to a Chinese buffet. And if you have 50000 in your bank account, you just have a lot more options on where you want to go out to eat. Right? So I just think money gives you more options. And I'm, I thought I saw Mark on that. Um, and then, too, I keep trying to drive this home to my daughter and my son or my kids because nobody taught me anything coming up really about money, how to manage it, what a credit card was. And I remember when I started my first year of college, which I did not complete, I started to go for nursing. And all of a sudden, I got in the mail a credit card, a Visa card. And I had $500 on it. And I was like, wow, free money. I go to ATM, draw this out left and right, spend it, blow it. Not even thinking that in 30 days, I'm going to owe $3,000 <laughs> or whatever, you know? And, and that was exactly the start of my credit. Because I didn't know. And so I've been very careful to teach my kids about credit and all this. But one thing, it's like my daughter. I'm like, yeah, you know, you can get a job. Make one, two, three hundred thousand dollars a year. But just because you make more money, that does not mean you have more money. Because how much, what matters is the difference between how much is coming in and how much is going out. That's how much money you have, right? Is that gap there, okay? If three hundred thousand comes in and two hundred and fifty thousand goes out every year, you're fifty thousand dollars wealthy. You say, and that made sense to her. So it's not necessarily about what you're bringing in because you could be like me, um, very probably lower middle class, and which is quickly fading away, isn't it? I'm talking y'all's heads off. Um, and, you know, I don't know. For example, say $2,000 comes in a month in this little business or something. I'm using it as a hypothetical but only 500 is going out I have more money than the person who's making 300,000 a year yes you are <laughs> hey Jay you are we all are aren't we some richer than others and we have to share the wealth and not look down on those who are poor in the Lord right so anyway, that was just my little humble thoughts on stuff like that because nobody ever taught me. And, you know, if anybody hasn't taught their children that, don't feel bad because how can anybody do better till they know better? That's all I know. And I'm really talking y'all's heads off. We're just, I, I believe the fireworks have ceased. I'm not sure. How you doing, Jay? I hope you're doing good. Is it Jay Pickard or I'm not sure which Jay. I think I've asked that before. This, y'all, this is a Sarah Coventry. Um, I might have been the first Sarah Coventry ring, but ain't it pretty? I'm not really selling you guys. I'm just showing. We're looking through stuff. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful gold tone, adjustable Sarah Coventry ring. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's just too little for my finger, and I really don't want to stretch it out. But it's adjustable up here at the top, so it's not noticeable. See how smart? But nice piece here. Love it. It is beautiful. I love that. My hands are even starting to look old, y'all. <laughs> My grandma, I guess it's arthritis. I remember her fingers there at the end. Every one of her little fingers I'd hold her hand would be bent over at the top knuckle. And look. Do you see how my... Be careful that middle finger. I don't want to... Um, I don't know if you can tell it, but you can. It goes up, it's bent that way a little. And I'm wondering if all my fingers are going to do that. It's arthritis. 
I have a lot of arthritis in my hands from cleaning and scrubbing, but see what I mean? How it turns. And I remember my grandma's little hands, because every time I'd go see her, I'd just sit and we'd hold hands. Now I just got up. What? What you talking about, Lori? Oh, was somebody being mean? Yes, arthritis. <laughs> but my arthritis hurts in here. It don't hurt right here right now. Somebody was mean? I don't know. I don't think so. The trick is not to spend more than you make. Exactly. I didn't know nobody was being mean. <laughs> Lori, you're so funny. Oh, that might make me feel good, though, that somebody would take up for me. <laughs> I, oh. <laughs> Thank y'all. That's sweet. I don't deserve that. I really don't. But thank y'all. Y'all gonna make me get tears <laughs> I tell you what, if I don't quit weeping, actually, it's good to have a good cry every now and then, you know, because I had not had a good cry in a while, like a few, but not a big one. Have y'all? It's good to let it out sometimes, ain't it? This is a beautiful, y'all, like I said, we're not really selling any jewelry. It's just showing y'all some pretty things. This is a beautiful tiger's eye. Pendant. Big. Chunky monkey. There's a proper term for it, but Misty's not sure what it is. Oh, thank you, Jane. Isn't that beautiful? You see the line as a light cat, uh, tiger's eye. So that's a nice big pin in there. I'm trying to be pretty. Oh, okay, sweetie. I hope your dad's all right. Priam. Love you, honey. Take care, darling. Come back and see me Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Um, and I did find an old Polaroid, guys. Show you. That was super cool. I think I might have to just keep it for decor. But if y'all remember, I can get it open. A Polaroid Spirit 600. Good night, Jay. Thank you for swinging by here and saying hello. Bless your heart. Take care, sweetie. Isn't that cool, y'all? And I'll Polaroid. Um, and I think it works. Uh, I, I don't even know how you would get any film for it. I don't know if you need to order. I doubt it. I don't know. I really don't. You have one of those somewhere, too. Yeah. And when I go to Paul's channel Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon, I did pick up a lot of guy stuff. I got these. These are a binocular. A binocular, not lures. And, um, like, especially for hunters, you know, uh, And I'm going to keep one for myself, looking at the birds. But binoculars are funny. You got to. Let's see if I can see. You got to really adjust it just right. You know what I mean? Kind of like a telescope. Have you ever looked in a telescope? Oh, my gosh. I can read. The school calendar hanging on my refrigerator over there, y'all. Honestly. Wow. That's cool. 
So I got a bunch of these because, you know, some of the Hunter guys might like them. Different things. I'm just really sharing with y'all now. But I'm probably going to head and close it off and go. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Sorry I talked y'all's head off. And I hope I'll get to hang out and chit chat with y'all somewhere else sometime. Oh, granddaddy was proud. Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Glad I got to sit here and enjoy y'all a little bit. You know, that's what I don't. I don't mind that when there's not a lot of people. Of course, there's times you hope you have a good sale because you're, it's a little business. But I don't mind the times when it's just two or three or four or five and we can just hang out like we did tonight. And thank y'all. You helped me find that <laughs> um, butterfly brooch. So I hope anybody got to let their mind be relaxed a little bit. And I'll be praying for y'all, keeping your mind with the hard things you're going through. And if you remember me, please keep me in mind. And I will see y'all Tuesday night, I hope. Love y'all too. I'm craving a barbecue sandwich. <laughs> I know why I needed it. Good, good, sweetie. Love you guys. See y'all soon, okay? Please take care. And y'all got my email holler if you ever need me. Okay. Bye now. Love y'all. Bye-bye.